Look at this. Look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bro. That's 400 damage, bro. <laughs> What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. When Rapid Strike Malamar from Chilling Rain was first revealed, I thought this card was destined for the bulk bin, but playing the deck on stream has definitely changed my mind. I think the Rapid Strike Malamar is a great budget option that can take huge one-hit knockouts on Pokemon VMAX with its Rapid Strike Tentacles attack. I'm excited to show off my new list, but before we get to it, let's head on over to FullGripCodes.com. If you're looking to get all the best cards in your Pokemon trading card game online account, look no further than FullGripCodes.com. We've got all the best Pokemon trading card game online codes available for instant email delivery, including the newest codes from Chilling Rain. Supporting the shop at Full Grip Codes directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. Now let's check out that Malamar Chinchino deck. Rapid Strike Malamar is the main attacker in this deck. It's a stage one Pokemon with 120 hit points and it's Rapid Strike Tentacles attack for one Psychic Energy allows you to reveal as many Rapid Strike cards as you'd like from your hand and the attack does 40 damage for each card you revealed in this way. Then you have to shuffle those cards back into your deck. So if you reveal eight Rapid Strike cards from your hand. It's possible to do 320 damage, enough damage to knock out just about any Pokemon VMAX you might encounter. Nine, and you're gonna be dealing 360 damage, enough damage to knock out Eternatus VMAX for just one Psychic Energy. Now, in order to get all of these Rapid Strike cards into your hand, you're gonna have to draw a lot of cards. To help with that, we play the Chinchino Engine. With its Make Do ability, Chinchino allows you to draw two cards from your deck at the cost of discarding a card from your hand. It's very easy to find a card that you might not need in order to use Make Do to try and get more Rapid Strike cards into your hand. Half of this deck is made up of Rapid Strike cards. There are 29 Rapid Strike cards in this list. Everything from supporter cards like Karina's Focus to energy cards like Spiral Energy to our attackers, Rapid Strike Malamar, Rapid Strike Inke, and our support Pokemon, Octillery. Rapid Strike Search is also a great consistency option for this deck. It allows you to search your deck for a Rapid Strike card once during your turn and put it into your hand so it can help to boost your numbers even further after drawing a lot of cards with Chinchino and your supporter for turn. And then Oracorio GX with its Dance of Tribute ability can also net you an additional three cards if one of your Pokemon was knocked out during the previous turn. Now, unfortunately, Oracorio GX is going to be rotating in September, but I think this deck has what it takes to survive without Oracorio GX. You can just set up another Chinchino on your bench and draw cards that way. Now, this deck really does well when it's Pokemon, get knocked out. Oracorio's Dance of Tribute allows you to draw three additional cards during your turn. And then Bruno allows you to shuffle your hand into your deck and draw seven cards if one of your Pokemon was knocked out during the previous turn. So we do play four copies of Bruno with Bruno, Chinchino, and Oracorio GX. It's possible to see 10, 12, and even more cards during your turn after one of your Malamar gets knocked out. That explosive draw allows you to easily find eight, nine, or even 10 Rapid Strike cards to take huge knockouts for just one Psychic Energy. This deck is a ton of fun to play, and I definitely recommend giving it a try. Check this deck out in action, and let me know what do you think of Malamar Chinchino in the comments below. Man, people love a dark box deck, that's for sure. This new dark box deck uses Sneasel and red and blue evolves into Weavile. Can get some energy in play that way. Got a pretty nice opening hand, double Mancino. Get the, the Inkes out of here. Love it, don't need that other Mancino in the deck. Uh, my opponent could knock out my Remoraid, which would be bad, so we'll go uh, another Remoraid. Okay. One more Mancino. And pass to my opponent. Then we've got a nice turn two coming up.
Yeah, the reason we have to get another Remoraid is because they could red and blue into a Weavile and use Weavile's attack uh, to knock out my Remoraid. As we... Yup, see? I knew it! I had the red and blue in hand. Weavile GX coming in hot. Claw Slash. Hopefully they don't have any other Pokemon to put down. They just discarded Mewtwo. They don't want to put down Mewtwo because they know it's weak to Psychic. Wow, I mean, they've got they've got it all, folks. They've got Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. They've got wow. I mean, look at this. Galarian Moltres V. I mean, they're really cook, cooking over here. They've got the sauce. That's five energy in play. Turn two with Weavile. And all they did was open Sneasel Dark. So we'll see if my opponent decides to attack with Weavile. Um, if they do, I am pretty confident that I can knock out that Weavile next turn. Now we've got like a pretty good looking hand. And they play the Type Null. Ooh, Sil Valley GX, second Sneasel. Oh, boy. They could, what, hard retreat? Nah, they're just going to Claw Slash. Okay, cool. And they're going to move the energy over to Moltres. So even if I knock out the Weavile, they still got an attacker next turn. Okay. Yeehaw, chat. Time to get it popping. Okay. Got Octillery. We've got Evolution Incense. Go get Malamar. Um, I guess we should go get, technically, Minchino. Uh, because then that guarantees us two Minchino, or two Chinchino, right? And then we can draw lots of cards, which I like. So we should probably do that. No, I can play a lot of level balls, right? How many level balls I got in the deck? Three more level balls? Oh, we're chilling. We'll draw into it. Okay, we're going to go get the Malamar. And level ball. It feels really bad to um it feels really bad to get rid of this Viridian. I think it's I mean I could Viridian away the ordinary rod. I do play two. Having the Remoraid in the deck does increase the amount of Rapid Strike Pokemon uh, that we have in the deck, though. But this also gets me the energy. I think we're just going to get rid of that. That seems fine. I have another Ordinary Rod in the deck. You know, that's fine. Do I have my Oracorio GX in the deck? I do. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. So slap that down. And then... We'll wrap a strike search. Why not Chinchino first? Because I'm going to Karina's Focus. And I want to Karina's Focus for six. So here we go. Okay. We did hit another Chinchino. Very good. And Oracorio. So we can use Oracorio to draw more cards, which we will do first. Thank you, Rainbow Scizor, for extending that sub through September. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. The only card in this hand that I cannot turn into a Rapid Strike card is the Air Balloon. So we trade that and get two more cards. Yeah. And then these level balls are insane, right? Okay. Because then we can go get Mincino. Thank you, Chris K, for the tier one sub in the 10 months. Um, I can go get another Rapid Strike Pokemon out of the deck. I can go get... Oh, I guess I don't want to thin yet. That's fine. Okay, this level ball will get the other 
Minchino out of the deck. I don't want that. And then we're going to make do and discard the Minchino. And get two more cards. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. And then we've got Inke, right? And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Okay. Yeah. The Chinchino version is the best version of this deck. Yeah, period. It's insane. All right. So we got eight. I mean, heck, I'm doing eight times. That's 32. I don't even need to do all that, though. We just need uh, six. We'll do it. Five will not because of resistance. So we need to do six. So I can evolve that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. See ya. I have seven, not eight. Yeah, the Bruno. I accidentally counted the Bruno, but it's cool. We're chilling. Yeah. Take our two prizes. Yeah, this Mincino version of the deck is absolutely wild. We love this. This is great. And look at that. Now we got Bruno lined up. I mean, look at how many cards you could draw with Mincino. Or Chinchino. Hey, thanks, Kevin. I appreciate it. I love the Neon Light. I'm glad you dig the Neon Light. Oh, yeah. They're feeling real bad now. We got the whole gang here. Double Chinchino. So, like, now when I Bruno, right... We're going to Bruno and C7, or Corio and C10, and then Chinchino twice and C14. Now we've got like an absurd ability to find our Rapid Strike cards. I really like the level balls in the deck. The level balls make this deck a lot more consistent. That is very good. And, yeah, I'm totally sold on the Chinchinos. These are, these are amazing. I, and having played a lot of the Inteleon version, I can confirm that the Chinchino version is superior. This is exactly what we want. Now, they do have red and blue again, so they've got another dude up and running. And they've got a ton of energy in play. I mean, they've got the Sil Valley, they've got Weavile. They've got Greninja and Zork. They've got this guy that can greedy crush my Oracorio for three prizes. But all I have to do is take two more knockouts. And we win. Yes, and I have to give it to chats. The chats. Chat encouraged me to play the Chinchino version. Chat was correct. It felt like like I wanted the Inteleon version to work because they were all rapid strike cards, right? But it just doesn't matter. Okay. Fog Crystal, get the last ink out of my deck. Big Bruno. All right. And now you can just see, like, this is the most insane version of this deck. This is so nuts, right? Now we've got Dance Attribute, see more cards, and it's like guaranteed we're going to hit the knockout. It's not even like, there's not even any drama as to whether or not we're gonna hit the knockout. Like we already know, like pack it up, dude. We've do we've totally got it. Um, I can make do away the psychic energy. Let's see, I actually went to Ordinary Rod right now and put the Inke and the Malamar and psychic energies back into the deck. Yeah, do both. Inke, Malamar. Two psychics. Okay. And then we want to make do away the air balloon. And then we've got level ball for that Inke. And we've got rapid strike search. <laughs> Where <is> this thing? <laughs> Look at this. Look at it. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bro. That's four hundred damage, bro. <laughs> we got one, two, three, four, five, six. How many do I need? Seven. Yeah, seven will do it. Seven times four is twenty-eight. Okay, so yeah, we'll keep the supporter. All right, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I really don't want to misclick this, so I'll do an eighth just to make sure. Like honestly, that yellow, that yellow highlight to calculate the damage, I would have been, I would have been incredibly salty if I misclicked that. Yeah, so like, I didn't even trust it. We're just gonna go eight just for the, yeah, just for the, <laughs> and you're out of here. Okay, Ice Rider, let's get it. I'm into this matchup. We both got the Chinchino engine, should be fun. Got a couple of Inkes, get a Remoraid. There's only one Remoraid in the deck, that's cool. And then next turn, we're hopping in there. So I'll attach that to one of my bench and pass. And then we've got Octillery to draw us cards. And see. What we can do this next turn. We got that beautiful alt art. You guys want to knock out the Ice Rider? Oh, yeah. Oh, this, this list is popping off now, chat. Yeah, we popping off big time. Hey, thank you, Chris, for the 100 bits. Yeah, GG's, GG's. Get another one of these guys. I think we just wrap a strike search. Um, yeah, for, for Karina. Okay. We'll draw. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so we're not like popping off this turn, but that's okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not exactly what I'd call popping off. All right, this is setup stages, that's fine. We got a lot of a lot of suboptimal cards in our hand. We'll make do away in energy. Okay. Eighty damage is better than like no damage, so that's cool. Two boss. Eh, I don't want to use the pal pad yet, though. I could get two rapid strike supporters back into the deck. Uh, I think I want to pinch that, so. We'll wrap Strike Tentacles for the 80. It's tough because I pretty much need... I pretty much need Bruno right now, right? Because I don't want these bosses in my hand or this Ordinary Rod, though I'll use the Rod as soon as this Malamar gets knocked out. That also does the trick. Thanks, Miguel. Thank you. That'll do just fine. We'll uh, we'll take it. And then we got Karina's focus now. All those boss got sent to the bottom of my deck, which is good. I don't want those until the end of the game. Data change. It does feel a lot more solid now too that we don't get stuck by path to the peak. You know, with the Chinchinos, we're still drawing cards, even with Path to the Peak in play, which is very good. There's Path to the Peak, right, and they're gonna Snorlax. Just take some time. I didn't quite have the setup they wanted. Understandable. Okay, we're big chilling though. Yeah, well, Karina's. Okay. And then we can start using Make Do, and I don't really need this Fog Crystal anymore. And 
honestly, like what what in this deck am I even going to thin? There's not really anything worth thinning, so we'll just grab another card with Rapid Strike Search, get the Malamar out. And then I do have to get rid of four, right? So we got one, two, yeah, yeah, we got one, two, three, four. All right, just checking, making sure I'm not tripping here. Nope. Yeah, not really worth doing that. So we'll just wrap strike tentacles. One, two, three, four. Shuffle those back into the deck. Knock out the Snorlax. And I have to say, like at this point, like I can't really imagine. I mean, this engine is just so good. Two Chinchinos in the Octillery. Yo, thanks Utaku for uh, supporting the shop at Full Grip Games. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Ooh, my opponent's got the nice shiny Chinchinos. Yeah, the double Chinchino, I mean, you're drawing so many cards. I'm really excited for the future of the Pokemon trading card game without Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX because these kinds of engines, these kinds of engines are going to be seeing way more play, right? Like way more play. After Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia rotates. You know, this kind of deck... Can sometimes the fact that ADP can just take three knockouts and win is ridiculous, you know. But you know, in this particular matchup, we're playing against attackers that give up multiple prizes. Do I worry about Rapid Strike or Shifu? I think that I think that they'll they'll print something that. Uh, nerfs rapid strike or shifu i i bet we don't know the whole post rotation format yet so i wouldn't i wouldn't like worry too much until we see uh i wouldn't worry too much you know until we see it because they might they might print bench barrier so we'll assess I, i'll leave it to like we'll assess the situation as it as it you know comes to reality I don't want a Bruno. I don't want a Karina's Focus. I only need... I need three. So I guess I can afford to make do away one of these Brunos. That's fine. All right. Now we got the double Rapid Strike Energy, which is very good. I can just Rapid Strike Search. Get another Octillery. And then we can Rapid Strike Tentacles and put those three dudes back into the deck take the knockout on the chinchino it's tough because if they release like a stadium if it's sky pillar like sky pillar was notoriously bad right there was like no help from sky pillar because you can just you can just uh counter sky pillar on your turn and like wipe your opponent's bench so I do think Rapid Strike will be very strong if they don't print a bench barrier. But that being said, like single prize decks just have, they have a bad matchup, right? You know, it is what it is. Yeah, if it's, if it's like Rapid Strike is the killer of the single prize decks, then like fine. But... It would still not be as bad as uh, ADP is now, I don't think. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Okay. Can we knock out this Ice Rider? I think so. No ordinary Rod. Do both. Those back in. Those back in. And we finally get to Bruno. And draw a lot of cards. We'll do that. Okay. We've got make do. We want to discard Minchino. 
Okay, mu. Make do discard mu. Counter the stadium. Dance attribute. Okay. And then got the evolution incense. We've got crystal. I might be able to get it. I think so. Yeah. Crystal for that. Evolution incense for that. Wrap strike search for that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Put that into play there. And I could attach another psychic energy if I need to, but I don't even need to. Yeah, we don't even need to. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times four. Woo wee! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yo, somebody call the broken deck police. Dang, man. Somebody somebody go ahead and call the broken deck. <laughs> oh, the broken deck police, bro. This deck is insane, man. That is so sick. Woo wee! That's a crazy deck right there, dude. And we got the double trinchino, so you're like not even just completely pigeonholed into being weak if your opponent gusts up your octillery right and the fact that octillery can search out your tower of waters to unlock your octillery uh, your oracorio as well and then the chinchinos make you not really feel bad about just playing one oc one oracorio in the deck which is really good i mean yeah this this list just feels super smooth i'm loving it All right, they got Melanie. They got another attack, but we've got Bruno in the hand. Bruno is the perfect supporter for this deck as well. Thank you, Coding Garden, for that tier one sub in the five months. Yo, Chad, if you're into coding, make sure to check out Coding Garden's channel. They do some cool coding projects and things like that. All right. And we just, yeah, go for, go for broke here. Big Bruno. We attached the energy to thin the deck, right? Dance of Tribute. And we should have it, but we'll draw through the rest. Technically do this correct. Yeah, we're going to see how much we can max out just two Pokemon and do the two Rapid Strike dudes. Yep. I mean, look at how many cards we're drawing. This is so absurd, right? It perfectly thins the deck. Gets us everything we need. Level Ball, get another dude. Rapid Strike Search, get another dude. And we're cranking out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another three, just 320 damage back to back. I actually am starting to think that this deck, like, might actually be better than Blacephalon, right? I, yeah. I mean, that was just so easy to do 320 damage over and over and over again. So if I were to say, how much energy does a deck need i will say with shadow rider calrex i guessed 13 and i felt like i was like right on the money with like the shadow rider calrex cake version of the deck i just you know i was like 13 seems right and it just it was 13 that was you know 13 was like right around where it needed to be which was sick so i was really stoked about that you could go a little bit less for like trepnor versions of the deck why did i say 13 instead of nine because so like something Something that uh, I ask myself is like, okay, you know, how many Pokemon can you knock out 
with X amount of energy. With nine energy, you could use uh, Alchemy VMAX once, discard six, and then you wouldn't be able to attack again. But with 13, you could reliably do, like, you could probably do Alchemy VMAX twice, right? Six each time. And you would, uh, and you would then probably draw out the remaining energy from your prize. So, like, you could theoretically take all of your prizes with 13 energy, but then having the energy recycler in the deck gives you like a little bit more flex flexibility, right? So, all right, we'll get the NK out. I think, and then level ball, and then create focus. Level ball, get the Minchino. So a lot of times when I'm building a deck, I'll ask myself, like, okay, how many times may I need to attack in this deck? You know, how many times may, might I need to attack and then give myself a little bit more than that, right? Uh, so to just run you through some examples, right? Um, Mad Party plays seven energy usually four twin energy and three uh, and three triple acceleration energy the reason for that is that uh, they may want to attack six times against a single prize deck plus one right just in case of prizes thank you paper ghost for the tier one sub exactly and then uh, crypto knights got another that was my next point you're ahead of the class yes so first you want to ask yourself when you're building a deck, how many times might I need to attack? I want to give myself the energy to announce that many attacks plus one or two, right? Because some games get weird and you have to attack more times than you might think, or stuff like that. And then uh, you also want to ask yourself, how essential is it? How essential is it that I find my energy on turn one, right? Because, and that's like a reason why Eternatus kind of has to play 10, right? Because Eternatus, you might ask yourself, well then, by that logic, Mahone, the ideal energy count for Eternatus VMAX should be six because I might only have to attack like three times with like three different Eternatus or something like that, right? Wrong, because there are a couple more reasons why you would have to play more than six. Uh, first of all, using, uh, you know, Energy Accelerator, on e turn right um and uh you know the energy accelerator attack on the eternatus v is very important also missing the turn one energy drop loses you games so that so then like getting that turn one energy drop is so essential that you probably want to play closer to like 10 11 right uh because that gives you like more odds of finding that turn one energy because that's so essential to uh you know, that's so essential to winning with that deck. Another reason why Eternatus wants to play more energy than you would think is because now it has Galarian Moltres V and you want to get dark energy into your discard pile in order to accelerate. Um, yeah, in order to accelerate. So, them's your reasons right there. All right. Finally, I get to play. Let's get it. See what we can do. Air balloon. I don't even think it's worth putting tower waters down necessarily. I can pal pad back in the Karina's focus just to give me. We'll slap the tower waters down. And Bruno. Okay, we need some stuff. Okay. Fine. Make do the chinchina. Okay. Fog crystal. I could just grab the Oracorio. Like, yeah, I could grab the energy, but I'm going to yellow this. Draw some more cards. 
We definitely got punished for the YOLO there. I did not find the Malamar or the energy. Huh. So. It's not great. But. It's fine. Okay, we'll retreat into Remoraid, Rapid Strike Search, get a Malamar. Okay. Chill. That's fine, that's fine. I only have to take two knockouts in order to win this game, right? So that's something that's important to keep in mind. Like we have time, time is on our side. Now if they gust up my Oracorio, it's frustrating, but I can still win. Um, you know, Kamarni, that's fine. It's not a gust of my Oracorio, but if they find their path, we could be in some deep water. We definitely want to get that other Mincino down. That's going to help us out a lot. All right, they play the cakes, and they have a Dedenny. So they're going to dig a little bit more. Probably going for a path if they play it. Or just more draw. Might not play pass. I mean, they play cake. They play, you know, it could be just a more big damage version of the deck. Dang, these golden crystals look insane. That's for sure. And they've only got 13 cards left in the deck. That's pretty nuts. Wow. I mean, yeah, this is why this card is just so broken. I mean, look at how many cards they've drawn. Look at all that energy on board, right? And they do play path. So I have to make the very annoying play of using Octillery to get a stadium, right? Which is not what I want to do, but I can do it. Bruno, hey, that is very good. So Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. Could not have come at a better time, Bruno. Excellent. Bench the Mincino. Let it rip. Fantastic. And we found a stadium. However, my hand is filled with... <laughs> filled with not... That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Get us there. Three cards. Yup, those aren't, you know, super great three. That's okay. Make do, grab a couple more. Okay, I mean, I'm doing some damage, but we're not doing enough for like a knockout. Or anything like that, unfortunately. But we've still got time. Like I said, I only have to take two knockouts. So it's not that bad. I do imagine that Oracorio is going down next turn. So we want to just have as thin of a deck as possible. Yeah. Rapid Strike Search. I know, if Bruno was Rapid Strike, we'd be chilling. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. 240. I only have to attack twice. We're thinning the deck. We got our second Chinchino up. You really want the second Chinchino. It makes a huge difference. We've got double Bruno in the hand. The deck is getting thinned out to the point where next turn, 
next turn. I know, if Bruno was Rapid Strike, I do suspect that Oracorio is biting the dust, right? No? Oh, here we go. Underworld Door. It always trips me out. I think they're attacking. Only got one boss in the discard pile. Oh, here it is. Okay, Max Geist. Now I need to knock out the Shadow Rider, and I need to not bench another Oracorio. We can do it, that's for sure. You can do it. Okay. Put this guy down. Drop the energy. Big Bruno. That's right. The deck is much thinner now. That's a hand. That's a hand, baby. Yeah. How many do I need to knock out? Eight. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and two make dues to make it happen. I know I have two boss in the deck. So. I think I'm gonna get rid of a Brawly. That's a little bit risky. All right, we got an Ordinary Rod. Because I know I can Rapid Strike Search to get you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I need one more, I guess. That's fine, I'll get rid of the boss. Okay, there's the other boss, that's good. I needed the other boss, so we can Rapid strike search and get whoever now. Okay. And we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I have eight perfect. So we'll do the two Pokemon in. We're just looking for Oracorio back into the deck. We'll retreat into Malamar and send it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was very hesitant to get rid of my boss's orders because that's my win con, right? Like that's my easiest route to victory is to use my boss. So I didn't want to get rid of that. But I knew that I had a second boss in the deck. So we'll see. This thing, I only need to have two Rapid Strike cards in order to knock out that Shadow Rider on my opponent's bench. They've only got seven cards left in their deck. They've already GX'd. I don't have any two prizers in play. Like I said, this matchup, you only need to take two knockouts, right? You only need to take two knockouts. So I think that we should still be good. And they have to just knock out with this, unless they've got a, nope, they do not have a Cheryl. So we basically have game. Don't wanna to be too sure of myself, but yeah, now we've got game. There we go. Rapid Strike Search. Another card, boss, and it's GG's. One, two, three. Deal our 120 damage. And take the game. Let's go. All right, Malamar. Do your thing. Like many single prize decks, Malamar Chinchino can be a little bit slow to set up at times, but once it gets set up, it is definitely a powerhouse, and I think it's going to have a lot of potential, especially when the format slows down, Arceus Dialga and Palkia GX rotates, and Dedenne GX rotates. I think that this is definitely a single prize deck with a lot of promise. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash where I stream live Pokemon 
Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. If you're looking to get all the best cards in your Pokemon trading card game online account, make sure to check out FullGripCodes.com for instant email delivery on all the best Pokemon trading card game online codes. Y'all have a busted day. Peace.